Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about program to display invert half pyramid using numbers. Uh, suppose if enter the number 5, then output should be like this. Next, I am going to discuss about the trial method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. So, here after all that coincides. So, right here, I have taken 3 integer variable i next to j and next n. So, uh, this uh, display into the output screen. Uh, enter the number. So, whatever I am going to enter, so that received by n. So, I am going to enter n value 5. So I enter n value go to i, so i become 5 now. Here after oh, that check the condition 5 greater than equal to 1, so the condition is true. Now just start from 1 and oh, check the condition 1 less than equal to i. So I enter i value is 5, 1 less than equal to 5, so the condition is true. Now that coincide and uh, print the j value so add here this print 1 here after that go up, increase the value of j so j become 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 so the condition is true now print j value 2 so here after j gonna increase by 1 check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 that's true again that print the value j value now here after j gonna increase by 1, so j become 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than equal to 5, that's true. Again that coincide, print j1. So again j gonna increase by 1, so j become 5 now. Check the condition, 5 less than equal to 5, so the condition is true. Now that coincide, print j1. Now j gonna increase by 1, so j become 5, or oh, sorry j6. So 6 less than equal to 5, the condition is not true, no control comes to this point, see how, no cursor blink to the new line. From here, that go up and decrease the value of i. So i become 4 now, check the condition 4 greater than equal to 1, so the condition is true. Now j start from 1, check the condition 1 less than equal to 4, the condition is true, now print j value. That go up, increase the value of j, so j become 2 now, 2 less than equal to 4, so the condition is true, print j value. Now j gonna increase by 1, so j 3, 3 less than equal to 4, so the condition is true, now print j value. So j gonna increase by 1, so j become 4, now check the condition 4 less than equal to 4, the condition is true, now print j value. So right here, j become 5 now, check the condition, 5 less than equal to or 4, the condition is not true, now control comes to this point and cursor blink to the new line. So here after the value of i gonna decrease by 1, so i become 3, 3, check the condition, 3 greater than equal to 1, the condition is true, now j start from 1, check the condition, 1 less than equal to 3, the condition is true, print 0. So here after j gonna increase by 1, so j become 2 now, check the condition 2 less than equal to 3, condition is true, now go inside, print j value. Now here after j gonna increase by 1, so j 3 now, so 3 less than equal to 3, the condition is true, now print j value. So here after j become 4 now, check the condition 4 less than equal to 2, sorry 4 less than equal to 3, the condition false, 
now control comes to this point so cursor going to the end of line so hereafter i gonna decrease by one so i become two now check the condition two less than equal two greater than equal to one the condition is true so just start from one again and i'll check the condition one less than equal to two the condition true print j value so here after j gonna increase by one so j become two now check the condition two less than equal to two the condition is true print j value so here after j gonna increase by one so j is now three check the condition three less than equal to the condition is what so or uh, that out from inner for loop now say out and end of line so add your cursor bring to the new line here after that decrease the value of i so i become one check the condition one greater than equal to one so the condition is true that go inside just start from one check the condition one less than equal to one condition is true now that go inside print j value so j is now or uh, become two check the condition two less than equal to one the condition is false so that not go inside cursor bring to the new line oh sorry cursor bring to the new line here after i gonna decrease by one so i become zero now so here after zero greater than equal to one the condition false so that out from upper for loop and here after that out from main function so this is the drive method of this program so i hope you understand so thanks for watching see you next video